Hi guys, welcome to another video on TechWitchUp. So in this video, in under 5 minutes, I'm going to talk about a very hot topic, APIs. So API or application programming interface is a way in which two applications can talk to each other. Now these could be any application. For me, an application is a piece of code which is running somewhere and doing something. So it could be a database, it could be a web page or a web app or anything. They just want to share some resources. It's kind of like a one-sided relationship. It has some extra resource, this guy wants it. So what kind of resources? Let's take up an example. Now this is an application which is built by my company. I have spent enormous amount of resources and years coming up with a score predictor. What it does is, it predicts the score of today's cricket match. Now I have used machine learning, neural networks and all those hotshot technologies to come up with a 95% accuracy. Everyone wants it. All these applications like ESPN, Hotstar, Star Sports, all of them are running after this. Even Akash Chopra wants it. But I wouldn't just straight away give it out for free. I would want to monetize this application, right? So what I'll do is, I'll come up with a paid API. This API, using this API, anyone can request, send out a request like what will be the score today and we'll get a response. The score today will be around 370. So this solves the purpose of the users. They are able to, without even knowing what is going on inside, without having a clue what this algorithm is about, they're able to reap the benefits of the algorithm. That's what they wanted. And on the other side, I've come out with a subscription plan where on this API, I am able to monetize based on monthly subscription or yearly subscription or number of requests I'm charging all the users with some amount. So as my users will grow, I am able to charge more and more through this API. Now this is just one kind of extra resource. It could be anything. It could be a flight booking API by Indigo, which can be used by flight aggregators like Make My Trip or Go Indigo. It could be data. We all know that social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter generate enormous amounts of data every day. And they can share this data with the developers. So Twitter can expose a Twitter API wherein it will expose all the tweets and user information which a developer sitting here can use. If you go see my Twitter hack video, all I'm doing is using this Twitter API. Now, this is how it all started. This is how API came into existence. But it's not just limited to this. Now, we live in a world of microservice architecture. We know that in a company, there are tons and tons of services which are deployed everywhere. Now, these services are nothing but applications. So why not use API for these services to talk to each other? Now, you might wonder, that Chakul, all these applications are within my environment, it's my own. So why can't I share my own code or algorithm with these services? Well, you can do that. But we all know that in a microservice environment, all the services are a world of their own. This service has its own compute resources which is different from this. They are separated by a virtual boundary. I don't even want a single line of code to be shared between these services. They have totally different environment. Now as a developer, I just want to reap out the benefits. I don't even want to know what is going on there. So why not use an API? Now let's take up an example. In my previous video, I designed an e-wallet using microservice architecture. I had an auth service and an update DP service. Now as a developer, if I'm working on the send button, what I'll do is for authorization, I'll call the auth service API and for updating the DP, I'll call the update DP service. Now this makes my life so much easier. I don't have I don't have to know what is going inside the authorization. I don't have to know what's the logic of update DP. I don't care. I just send out a request and it's done. It's so simple. So API on one hand is making the life of users and developers so much easier. And on the other hand, it's enabling company to first monetize their homegrown application through subscription plans. And second, they're enabling microservice scalable environment inside their own company. Now this is super cool, right? I hope in a short video, I was able to explain to you what is an API. Now this doesn't end here. In my weekend hack video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take you through the steps of creating your own API. And I'm also gonna talk about what are the different kind of APIs and how to consume them. So stay tuned.